Now, some of you will remember the question strategy, pose, pause, pounce, pounce. A little bit of a mouthful, but it's a great question strategy for the classroom. That idea, when I first wrote about it from a colleague that I used to work with, who Dylan William once quoted in a YouTube video, um, inspired this resource called the Question Matrix. Now, this is the second most popular resource downloaded on my website. Some people still have not seen it, but it's a brilliant tool. Now, let me show you how this could work. So obviously, you can put post-it notes. You can do this on the screen in your classroom. You can give these to students to design questions. But here's another way that I've always promoted using it. I'm going to move the camera uh, shortly. But what I've done is I've cut the middle out and I've stuck a little plastic wallet uh, over the matrix. So if I'm in uh, an art lesson, for example, I've just got an object here of an elephant with a pencil holder. I can put this in as a periscope and then use the question matrix as a prompt for discussion. That's one way. Another way, I've got a picture of the Mona Lisa here. So on the classroom, obviously I can put this on the grid itself, but I can put this over a piece of work on a student's table and use this to ask questions the same way. Or even better, I move around the classroom. I've got a year seven student book here and I've got a topic about uh, the importance of quarries in the Yorkshire Dales in the north of England. And we can put the question matrix over the top a teaching assistant, whoever it might be, or the teacher, or the students, or one student asking questions to another student, and use the matrix to critique the work that's been produced. The methodology behind the matrix, so let me just show you uh, on this original uh, complete template, is that you choose a question on the left, connect it to one in the top columns, and then use this to frame your content so what is happening in the image what has um xyz done so if we think about the mona lisa let me just put this back on for you just to show how it might work we can go what is this what was she famous for uh, and then we move down the matrix to maybe higher order metacognitive questions how might we stop this painting being stolen and so on and so forth um, so it works the same way uh, with a student piece of work. And if you've not seen it, click the link in the video and download the resource and try it in your classroom. You won't regret it.